What's up everybody, this is Travis from Candid at the Movies and today I will be reviewing the great family comedy known as My Big Fat Greek Wedding number 3. Now, this one is starring and directed by Nia Vardalos and it also stars John Corbett and the huge ensemble cast. Now, I can honestly say this film, if you like the first film and its sequel, you're going to fall in love with this film as well. But I can honestly say as a person that has watched both films, I feel like this, the third film is better than the second one, but the first one is always going to be a classic. But the plot of this film is basically the family going on a getaway trip to basically meet their relatives all after the matriarch of the family, Neo Vardalos' character, Tula's father passed away. And basically they get into semantics. Now, as a director, I feel like Nia Vardalos knew what she was wanting to do, basically having this as a vacation set piece. The cinematics are going to look great. It's always going to be a beautiful city that they're going to be in. And more than anything, she captures what you basically are wanting from the film. Just something funny to laugh at, family antics, and just crazy things that the family gets into. And I can say that this movie delivered on that. I'm not going to say this movie is perfect because, in all honesty, a lot of the jokes kind of fell flat. It was kind of one of those things like with any film, if you're not in that culture, you're not going to get everything. With me following the first two films, I got some of the jokes, but not all of them. But, you know, that's probably my own fault for that. But I feel more than anything, what was missing with this film compared to the others Outside of the father not being in this film since he passed away, I feel like it was just a lot of connectivity with, between the characters was and wasn't there. With some people, it was working perfectly. With other people, it felt like they didn't fit or just some characters, you just felt like they just picked them out of nowhere and they're like, hey, we're going to give you the spotlight. So it was kind of tough. I did like the angle with the young lovers in it. It was pretty cool to see nice little parallels from the beginning and especially with bringing in the world of social media, technology, family trying to get used to somebody getting ghosted and little stuff like that. I think that overall the film was just fine. It was just one of those things you kind of were just wanting a little bit more, if that makes sense. Um, to me, the star of this movie was Andrea Martin as Aunt Vola. She was the star. She was like the underrated star in the first one. Got a little bit bigger in the second one. And this one, she was probably the most funniest person in the whole movie. I really thought this film was an okay film for you to check out. Especially if you want to go with your mom, sister, family members. Or you just want to go check something out just to laugh at. I feel like this is good. It does its job. But it's not breaking any barriers. I see it made a little bit of money, but not too much this past weekend. But I feel like more than anything, once this gets on a streaming service, it's going to have that replayability and people are going to love it and rediscover it who may have forgotten about the franchise. And I feel like it'll do okay on streaming. I would give this movie a solid C+. I'm not going to say it's one of the better films of this year when it comes to family films, but I feel like it's something worth checking out at least. But hey, if you like My Big Fat Greek Wedding, if you love their films, comment below. Let me know which one was your favorite. We'd love to hear what you think. Or if you know of any other family film we should check out, leave that in the comments. But hey, this is Travis from Candid at the Movies. We'll catch y'all later. Peace out.